happy Wednesday, June 19th, 2024. As you can see, I'm not feeling too well because I'm being attacked by the Negroes from Africa that are part of the people concern and cryalysis. Uh, they have deliberately and intentionally contaminated my clothing at the people concern, the bin, cryalysis. So like a public storage, extra storage space locker. They put herpes, syphilis, gonorrhea, smallpox, chicken pox, and monkey pox on my clothes. And I got it all over my back and my head. And it's, it's really bad, you know. And, and I'm in a lot of pain. And the reason why they did this is that um, they're part of um, Louis Farrakhan. And um, they're part of Black Lives Matter. And they have a judge in the Stanley Moss Courthouse known as Michelle Williams Court. And she's part of like uh, Oprah Winfrey, and she's part of uh, Leticia James, the Attorney General there. And they're running a pyramid Ponzi scheme with Facebook Meta platforms, and they're impersonating me. And the judge, Michelle Williams Court, literally, she looks like a hippopotamus or a rhinoceros, you know. And she got promoted from Department 74 to Department One, you know. This fucking Negro and her. Her, her aunt, Maria F. Buxton, from Kiko Van Ness Peters, and ultimately it comes down to Kamala Harris, you know? Which is like Kamala Harris uh, and uh, Mike Pence and the Trump Organization, Donald Trump. They're the ones who did this to me because I'm trying to get justice. And they not only did this to me, but they're known as the evil empire. According to, um, according to Ronald Reagan, the evil empire, according to... Uh, George W. Bush, the axis of evil, according to World War II, the Iron Curtain, East Germany, uh, West Germany Holocaust. What's going on here is that you have Negroes from Africa that have been empowered by Bill Gates and uh, Microsoft when, uh, when Bill Gates went to Ireland and then he went to Africa. And so Bill Gates was nice enough to give these Negroes an education and they came here with Obama, Barack Obama, and uh, these fucking Negroes are like, you know, they're trying to make money on back. There's another Negro called uh, Brenda Cooper, Michelle Cooper, and she's in charge of uh, T Tech Bank of America. She's robbing you blind at Bar Bank of America. She has stolen my EDD unemployment insurance along with her other Negro, uh, Daniel L. Reeves, who's related to um, Nevada. Um, uh, Reed, Senator Reed and Barack Obama. So, you know, ever since they put this nigga president, Barack Obama, you know, these Negroes, they used to make like $10 an hour. Now all of a sudden they're making like $10 million or $3 billion a year. And they're going crazy because uh, there's been a change in the guard and they're killing people. I believe that Gavin Newsom is dead. I believe that um, Michelle Williams Court, the judge, she has been murdered. Uh... Samantha Jesner, judge, murdered. Lawrence D. Rubin, judge, murdered. Gregory Dresser, audit, review committee for California courts. Coupe de Tat, murdered. Um, you know, look at the politicians that are supposed to be there. What they do is they're murdering high-ranking public officials, and they have revolving door Michelle Williams' court. They have, like, somebody come in and say, this is Michelle Williams' court. And, you know, like, this is like her dream to be a judge, and she's not collecting the salary. Somebody else is collecting the salary, and I found out that um, it's not even really the Negroes, because they're more like hitmen, you know, they're more like assassins. And they're the guinea pigs. They're the guinea pigs for El Chapo of Mexico, and the Colombians, and El Salvador, and uh, the Contra, like, for example, this, this uh, judicial officer who's in the 2nd District Court of Appeals, her name is Alina Palencia Huerta. She's from uh, the Contra, which is uh, guerrilla warfare, you know, in uh, Nicaragua. And basically, Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris was part of, and Barack Obama was part of this San Francisco organization. So it is the San Francisco Mafia. And I'm also questioning Chief Justice Patricia Guerrero, and I'm also questioning... Um, the clerk of court of the San Francisco, California Supreme Court, his name is Jorge Navarrete. And because these are Colombians and they're part of the El Chapo um, 
drug lords, you know? This is um, the evil empire, and the Trump organization is part of it. Mike Pence is part of it. He's making you lose your money in TD Ameritrade, and a lot of people are going to lose a lot of money on the Facebook Meta Platform stock because it's been devalued. They're making it go up. Pretty soon, they're going to say that that stock is, you know, they're trying to legitimize the murder business, genocide. They're trying to legitimize genocide and murder of children for uh, crack cocaine and uh, cocaine and meth, you know. And they've been busted by the Securities Exchange Commission. Priscilla Chan and her mother, Joyce Lee, have corrupted the unemployment insurance. And it's like food for meth and unemployment insurance for whatever. So the moral story is that I'm asking President Joe Biden and the Secret Service, California Highway Patrol, the FBI, Homeland Security, uh, I'm, I'm asking for any law enforcement official to conduct an investigation because this is also going on with people from Iran in the Middle East with uh, SolarWinds is the name of the software, SolarWinds, and it's SolarWinds and um, Aryan Circle, Aryan Brotherhood, and they're the ones who come into your phone and they take your phone number, they take your email address, they lock up your phone, you cannot do anything. This is part of IBM, Microsoft, and Unisys. And, you know, on 9-11, there were uh, three planes that crashed. One of the planes that crashed was in Pennsylvania. And Unisys is the name of the company in Pennsylvania that manufactures the solar winds that are remoting into your phone. And, you know, they're taking your identity and your money. And so they're also killing you and have revolving door W-2 direct deposit paychecks. So I'm asking the government to conduct an investigation into high-ranking public officials, including, I think, Gavin Newsom, who I believe have been murdered. And th there is like a Greek, some Greek lady, who's uh, saying that she's uh, the governor of California, along with uh, Brian Dalmy. But you know, I would like an investigation to find out what happened to Gavin Newsom, what happened to Jez uh, Samantha Jesner, what happened to Eric Taylor, what happened to Michelle Williams Court, what happened to David Slayton, because I think he's murdered also. You have the Contras, uh, you have the Iranians in the Middle East, with the solar winds, and you have the uh, El Chapo organization and the Trump organization, the evil empire, killing people. And they're collecting like 